I'm going thrifting. So today is my birthday and we are gonna do a thrifting trip in LA. I couldn't think of a better way to spend my birthday. But first I have to get my free drink from Starbucks, of course. But yeah, we're just gonna drive around LA, hit up some thrift stores, and I'm also going to stop into the Real Real and consign some items because they have a deal going on where you get a free hundred dollar credit when you can sign in person at one of their locations. So that is what we are going to be doing this morning. Okay, we just got to Melrose, which is in Beverly Hills, and that's where the real real store is. So I'm gonna give you guys like a short little haul of everything that I'm going to be consigning with them, and we'll see if they take everything, and I don't know, see what happens. I've never done this before. So, so this is a leather vest that I found at Goodwill, and it still has the tags on it. And I don't know if you can see this, it retailed for $750 at one point in time. So I don't think this is a super new vest just based off of like the uh, font on the tag, but it's Colleen Corden, which is a brand on the Real Real list, and it's not really necessarily something I would sell myself, so I think it is perfect for the Real Real. That's the piece that I knew all along I was going to sell with them, but I thought I'd throw in some other things just to keep trying it out while I'm here. Um, these are Acris Punto pants. They are like workwear. I actually sent them into ThreadUp and they didn't sell the first time. And it's, again, not really something I'd sell myself. So I am going to consign these. Next is this Theory wool mini skirt. It's super nice quality. It is missing the belt. So I don't know if that will make a difference for them to take it or not. Another theory piece, this one's new with tags, and this is a jumpsuit. This is a retail arbitrage find, and I actually have two of these, and so I'm just gonna consign one, and then I'll sell the other one myself and see which one has better luck. But yeah, it's a jumpsuit with this really cute pattern. And then last but not least, I have... And then last but not least, I have this All Saints sweater. I got this from the bins and it has like this mesh front and then this is what the sleeves look like. So I'm going to see what they take and then I will keep you guys updated. to share a really interesting tip that I learned while I was consigning. So when the Real Real lists your items, they will initially set it at 20% off as a marketing tactic. So they just inflate the price and then mark it as 20% off to entice people to buy your item. location of the real real is located on melrose avenue if you're not familiar with melrose it's this street in beverly hills that has all of the high-end designers on it so it was really cool getting to see all the brands that we all love to resell in person of course i had to stop at reformation it is by far my favorite brand to resell and i wish so badly that my whole entire closet was reformation i just love the style in a little bit, you're going to see a shot of a coat right there. I have actually sold that coat before and it was one of my highest profited items. Okay, so I'm back from the real real and they only took one item. They only took those Acris Punto pants and apparently Theory and All Saints are not on their list of brands they're accepting at this time. I guess they update their list like every single month apparently, but 
I know that those have been on the list before and those are pretty common brands so I'm a little surprised by that but oh well I still got my hundred dollar shopping credit so I can buy some items to resell from their website and the whole experience was really great I thought the sh the actual store was awesome um the way they had it set up was really cool and they had just like a ton of like gucci and supreme and chanel and, and just these crazy designer pieces so yeah it was a cool place to stop and i don't even really care that they didn't take that stuff because i can just sell it myself so yeah it's this right there oh that's the melrose trading post i that was also on my list of possible things to do today should have done that should we stop? It looks kind of awesome, but it's not stuff I could get to resell. Dang, I don't know. Should we go for a little bit? So we ended up stopping by and I'm so happy that we did. If you are ever in LA, I highly recommend checking out the Melrose Trading Post. It's open every single Sunday and it's only $5 to get in. They have booths all over the place. There's a mixture of items. There's a lot of vintage booths, but there's also some more modern clothing. There's furniture, there's jewelry. There's just so much to do and to see. So it was a really great experience and it was awesome getting to see everyone's cute outfits and to see kind of what was trending. Some trends that I definitely saw were leather jackets or blazers just like that light brown one up there brown and black ones everyone was walking all over wearing those i had to keep a shot of this girl look at her little model walk i thought her outfit was so cute another trend that i noticed on people who are walking around was for like a brown aesthetic or like neutral color outfits i think that's going to be a huge trend in 2021 <music> So as we were driving, we drove past the Melrose Trading Post, which was on my list of something that I maybe wanted to do today. And when we drove past and I saw it, I just had to stop. So we decided to um, check it out and it was so cool. It, first of all, it was awesome seeing like everyone's outfits that were there because they were all wearing like that classic California like uh, vintage style, which is funny because they all are trying to dress like super different and cool which makes them all kind of look the same but I'm not hating I think it's super cool and I kind of love the style so that was uh, interesting as far as the booths go there is like such a wide range of items to choose from and I think it's so funny because every time I go to the bins in LA I see these groups of guys that um, like are just picking up a bunch of band tees and they always try to team up with me and try to like form alliances with me to like save the new bin so like if I get a new bin they're like hey look let me get let me get that after you and then I like after talking to a few of these people they mentioned that they sell at the Melrose Trading Post and they have a booth there so it was really cool getting to see it firsthand and the markup on these things is absolutely insane they are selling sweatshirts for like $60 they are selling some of those um some jeans like Levi's or Wranglers or kind of jeans like that that are in style are going for like over a hundred dollars so it's pretty insane and I was so curious to see how much they are um how much it costs to have a booth there and it's only like seven they have a range between like seventy dollars to a hundred and twenty dollars per day which I thought is going to be way more so that's kind of interesting but yeah it was a really cool experience and I would have bought maybe some things but <laughs> the prices were just so insane and knowing that I could just go and thrift it for myself I just really couldn't even do it but yeah I'm really glad we stopped and now we are on our way to the largest thrift store in LA so that should be fun. <laughs> So I can confirm this is by far the largest thrift store I have ever been in. This whole trip I was only able to tackle half of the store, but I was blown away by the, the brands that were here. This Everlane shirt I didn't end up picking up because there was a stain on it and it wasn't really in style, but I found so much Everlane. found this Everlane dress that I ended up picking up. I will share more about this in the haul afterward. 
I found this ALC sweater. This is my first time finding ALC in the thrift store, so I was super pumped about that. I thought this western Zara jacket was super cute, but I didn't end up picking it up. Let me know if you would have picked it up in the comments down below. I found this leather jacket. I saw these all over the Melrose Trading Post. Everyone was wearing them, so I had to get one for myself. The one thing that I definitely wanted to find today was Lulu. I was manifesting it and it happened. So I was so happy about that. I found this mod cloth dress. I didn't pick it up just because it's kind of a basic piece and I don't typically pick up basics. There was so much denim and I was in denim heaven because the denim at my local thrift store isn't the best and it is very overpriced. I hope you enjoyed the vlog so far. Sorry for this awful lighting, but I've been so busy today getting back in the swing of things from having time off. So I got straight into work after my birthday, so I haven't had time to film a haul and show you guys everything that I got when I went thrifting on my birthday. So I'm running out of daylight here, but I wanted to make sure that I still was able to upload a video this week and made it worth your time to watch. So thank you if you stuck around this long. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It would really help me out so much. One of my 2021 goals is to get monetized. So you, none of you got me a birthday present, so the least you can do is subscribe to my channel, okay? <laughs> so in total, minus the things that I bought for myself, I spent $77 on items to resell. And I was actually shocked because this thrift store was less expensive than the thrift store by my house. So I live more in like Orange County area and I was in LA, which I kind of thought would be more expensive, but maybe it was just the location I went to. I don't know, but I was very happy with the deals that I got. So let's get into it. I'll show you everything. Um, I think I actually showed this in the thrift with me portion, but this is an Everlane dress. It has blue and white polka dots. And I actually found quite a few Everlane pieces, actually. I think I found like four tops and dresses, but I ended up only picking up this dress because the other ones were either stained or just not a good style that was, that was still trendy. But yeah, this is a size two and it is in excellent condition. So I'm excited to get this listed. Next, we have this ALC sweater. I also showed this in the thrift with me. This is definitely an older piece. It's from 2013. It's actually pretty handy that they put that on the tag. You can also tell by the tag, the font is a little bit, is a little bit outdated. It's definitely not the newer tag. Maybe I was just like so excited that I even found ALC in the thrift store. It's my first time, so. Maybe it wasn't the best buy. Uh, we'll see once it sells. Maybe it's too um, too old, but I definitely think it'll sell. I'm not too sure how much it will sell for, but I think it's a cute sweater, and I was super excited to find ALC in the thrift store. Another Everlane piece are these, I would call them girlfriend jeans, boyfriend jeans. Uh, they are Everlane. They are a size 28 regular, and they are in excellent condition, no rippling, and they're like 100% cotton feel. So none of that like skinny jean, spandex kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean if these were my size, I would definitely wear them. I was super excited to find these, and this was actually my first time finding Everlane in the thrift store as well. So a lot of first times in this haul. I definitely will be going back to that thrift store, that's for sure. This is a free people dress. It's not the newest of styles. Uh, it's a size extra large though, which is nice. And it's this pretty maroon color with this lace in the front and an open back. And it's like a, a trapeze or a swing dress. So I thought that was uh, pretty. It 
is going to be more like kind of a bread and butter item, nothing too crazy. Same with these. These are Madewell jeans, and they are actually a little bit older. These are from 2016, but they are in de decent condition. You can tell by this back patch. There is a little bit of dimpling, which I honestly didn't uh, see in the thrift store. It's not too bad, though. Um, again, I just think these would be more kind of like a bread and butter staple piece to add to my closet. I was very excited to find this. It is a flax linen top. Flax is, um, they make a lot of these really lightweight linen pieces and a lot of them are like matching sets. So I bet out there somewhere in the world there is a red pair of linen pants to match these, but I have never sold it myself. I have just seen it on everyone's bolo list. So, so I definitely picked it up. In all honesty, I didn't check comps on any of these things. I think it was a mixture of some things. I was like, screw it, it's my birthday, I throw it in the car. And then also, my boyfriend literally hates any kind of shopping, not just thrifting. So the fact that he went with me and drove me to all those places and even like did that was like a sweet thing to do on my birthday. But he actually waited in the car and just like watched football or whatever. Uh, while I was shopping so I didn't like want to keep him too long because seriously I could spend like eight hours in one thrift store like it's kind of insane so I had to be somewhat realistic and somewhat of a normal person to get out of there in like less than three hours <laughs> but same goes with this I don't know if this was a good pickup or not in this one I don't know guys was this a good or bad buy it's it's frame which is good but these little cut out um like cold shoulders are not a thing anymore so I and it's a size extra small so maybe I messed up on this one I don't know let me know in the comments down below if you would have picked this up but and it's a black basic guys what was I thinking I don't know we'll see this is a Maeve skirt I've actually been seeing these come back in style it's a size large and it's not really like a pencil skirt, I'd more call it a midi skirt, and it has these cute buttons down the side, it's a gray space dye, and it has like a ribbed material, and it is lined. And it looks to be like a newer tag, but I honestly, I would probably wear this. I thought it was cute, and it was on sale, so super happy with that. This though, you guys, I was so excited. Uh, it's made well and it's from spring of 2020 so it is literally like a brand new piece it is perfect for spring which is going to be here before we know it and it's an excellent condition it's like a um, midi skirt and it has this uh, kind of opening in the front and it's like a light linen material so love that <laughs> But I love this even more. Literally, I was manifesting finding Lulu on my birthday. That was the only thing that I really wanted to find. And not only was it $3.99, it was also 50% off. So I paid $2 for this Lulu shirt. So normally I don't really like to share my cost of goods, but how can you not? Like I'm the kind of person that brags about how cheap they get their clothes instead of how much they paid for their clothes. So no size tag on this. I would say it is like a size 10, eight or 10. Super good condition and love this find. Next up, I found this Tory Burch shirt. It's kind of a basic and it's just a top. So I don't think I'm gonna get too much for it, but I know Tory Burch sells like hotcakes on Poshmark, so. When I saw it, the tag was like flipped kind of like this. And I was like, okay, this is either Miss Sony or it is Tory Burch. Like, which one is it? And I flipped it over. I was like, Tory Burch. I knew it. So, and it was on the end cap. So, I knew someone was looking at it and then they decided not to get it and they put it back. But, their loss is my win. These might have been a mistake. I don't know. I, again, I was blinded by the brand tag, you guys. Not advisable. It's and other stories. 
and I have never found that in my thrift store. Like seriously, this thrift store was amazing. There's so many brands I would have, I've never found before in the wild and the price is really pretty decent. So I think I was just so excited and I like, threw all of the brands that I like was super hyped for just in my cart without checking. But anyways, this, uh, these are a size 29 and they are this pretty, um, they're like an off white or a pink color with a reddish brown color stitching and actually white like off-white jeans like this or like a cream color are super in uh trending right now along with like browns like that's gonna be so huge for 2021 i'll insert a picture up here of like kind of the vibe that i am thinking if these were my size honestly i'd keep them because i was on the lookout for pants like these for myself but I think that they'll sell regardless. I'm excited to check comps on them and kind of see what we're looking at here. But yeah, that's all I got to resell. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, I had an amazing day and I can't wait to do more thrifting in LA in the future. If you guys love reseller content like this, be sure to subscribe once again and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And I seriously am just so thankful for everyone that has watched all my videos and everyone that's commented. I've built such a great group of internet friends that I feel like I'm actually friends with uh, from watching all of their videos. So shout out to you guys. You know who you are. But yeah, I will see you guys next week.